Hello YouTube. This is my second uh, video which I'm doing about the replication of the Tan C. Heinz uh, regenerative acceleration uh, generator. Uh, I got a lot of uh, positive reactions uh, on my uh, earlier video uh, on the internet, so thank you all. Uh, but there also were some people saying that they only can get the regenerative acceleration when they are shorting their generator coil and that when they try to load their output generator coil that it will decelerate. So today I will show the differences between shorting, <coughs> shorting the generator coil and between loading and that it certainly is possible to get regenerative acceleration under load. So what I will do is uh, I will gradually uh, speed up my, uh, the RPMs of my motor so that for each uh, step you can see uh, what the reaction will be. Okay, uh, first I will start uh, my setup to 40 Hz. There we go. So it's running on 40 Hz by now. Uh, the generator is generating 120, 120 Hz almost so uh, and idle it will it takes 41.2 watts 0.5 watts for now so now we load it and we see 48.9 watts 49 watts uh, now the load remove, running back on idle, 41.5 watts, 0.3 watts, and now I will short it, and shorting will give you 39.9 watts, so, and now it's back on idle. Okay, now we go to 50 hertz, uh, 48 watts uh, on idle, 47.9. With load connected, it will take it will take 58.6 watts. Back on idle, 47.6 watts, and now it's shorted 45.7 watts, and back on idle 47.5 watts. Now the motor is the motor is running on 60 hertz. 52.2 watts on idle. With load connected, it goes to 59.2 watts. Load removed. Back on 50, 52, 51.9, and now it's shorted. It goes to 49.2 watts. Okay, now it's back on idle. Uh, now we go to 70 hertz. 56.9 watts running idle when we're running idle with load connected it will take 60.5 watts load removed back on 56.7 watts now it is shorted it goes to 53.1 watts 53.2 watts one and now it's back on idle okay now we go to 80 Hz, now the motor is running on 80 Hz, 62, 63.1 watts on idle, with load connected it goes to 64.4 watts, 0.3.1, back on idle goes to 62.6 watts, shorting uh, then it goes to 58.3 watts, with the shorting removed, it goes to 62.2 watts. Back on idle. Now we go to 90 hertz. Uh, 69.6 watts on idle. With load connected, 69.4 watts. 0.2 with load removed. Uh, it's staying the same. With load connected, 69.4. Zero, load removed, point 0.1, so now it's barely 
uh, taking you any now now it's almost uh, running with with no uh, further energy uh, going into the light bulb shorting uh, will result in 63.8 watts now it's back on idle 68.7 watts with load connected 68.6 load removed 68.4 load connected 0.75 load removed so this is almost where uh, the, the load doesn't take any more energy from the rotor and now at uh, 100 hertz you will see that uh, things are changed and that when we try to load the generator coil it drops to 74 oh, sorry uh, idle 75.6 with the load connected 74.0.1 load removed running back on idle 75.4 watts now when we try to short it now it's short it, it goes to 69.7.8 watts shorting removed and it's back on idle so one more time with load connected 73.8 watts load removed 74.2 so you see that there is a direct relation between the uh, frequency and uh, and the load so uh, when you connect a high ohmic uh, ohmic resistance uh, as a load uh, on your system then the RPM and the frequency uh, has to be higher to get the same uh, acceleration effect so uh, uh, the frequency can be low uh, to get the same results uh, on shorting your coil and you will get the same effect uh, the accelerating uh, regenerative accelerating effect uh, with high ohmic resistance on a higher frequency so that was it for today uh, thanks for watching bye bye